वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 1.26 सो स्टेटमेंट इज लिंक ए बी ऑफ विद बी 50 मिलीमीटर एंड थिकनेस 6 मिलीमीटर इज यूज टू सपोर्ट द एंड ऑफ अ हॉरिजॉन्टल बीम नोइंग दैट एवरेज नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस इन द लिंक इज -140 मेगापास्कल एंड द एवरेज शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इन ईच ऑफ द टू पिन इज 80 मेगापास्कल डिटरमाइन ए द डायमीटर ऑफ डी ऑफ द पिन and b average bearing stress in the link so this is a horizontal beam that is supported by this link a b having two pins that is used to support this horizontal beam and uh, the width of this link is 50 mm and thickness is 6 mm and due to this uh, support there is a compressive stress sigma is equal to Average sigma is equal to 140 megapascal. Here it is given as minus 140. So 140 and this arrow shows that this is in compression. Negative sign means compression. So you have to determine the diameter of this pin B having average sharing stress is 80 megapascal and then you have to find the average bearing stress in this link AB. So let's start with the solution. So we, as we have discussed that this rod, uh, this link AB is in compression. So this, this will be P due to stress. This will be the P. Okay. So uh, this link AB is in compression. Sigma is given as sigma average in link is given as 140 megapascal. I have removed the negative sign because negative sign shows compression. We know that normal stress is equal to load per unit area. Okay, so we will f we have area of this link. This area is equal to in compression. We neglect this hole in this link because in compression, this link, this hole will also compress. So the net area will be equal to this width into thickness. So A will be equal to B multiplied by T. So B is 50 millimeter, which is 0 0.050 and thickness is 0 0.006 meter. So when you multiply it, you will get 300 into 10 to the power minus 6 square meter. Now what we will do is that we have average uh, be, uh, average normal stress in this link. So this P will be equal to sigma average multiplied by area. So sigma average is 140 megapascal, 140 into 10 to the power 6 multiplied by area which is 300 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 6 so p will be equal to load will be equal to 42 into 10 raised to power 3 newton and this load will be also a compressive one because uh, this compressive load will cause the compressive stress now you have p we will move toward first part for pin for pin we know that average sharing stress in pin is equal to load divided by sharing area. So here the sharing area is this, uh, uh, this sharing area will be this one. Okay, so that is uh, for pin we have area is pi by 4 area will be equal to area of pin will be equal to pi by 4 d square we have d is 0 pi by 4 d is diameter is 0 0.006 clear and okay sorry diameter of pin is not given okay so we have diameter of area of pin is equal to pi by 4 d square and we know that every sharing stress is p by a so from here you will get a is equal to p by shear stress so p is 42 into 10 to the power 3 which we have calculated earlier divided by sharing stress is given as 80 megapascal 
so 80 into 10 raised to power 6 so when you calculate it you will get area of pin will be equal to 5 to 5 into 10 raised to power minus 6 square meter now area of pin is equal to pi by 4 d square and that is equal to 525 into 10 raised to power minus 6 so from here we will get d square is equal to 4 multiplied by 525 into 10 raised to power minus 6 divided by pi which is 3.1417 and if you take the square root on both sides so you will get d will be equal to after calculation it will be 2.58 5 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meter are you in millimeter it is equal to 2.59 millimeter so this is the answer of our first part and in part b we have been asked to find the average bearing stress in the link so average bearing stress in the link is equal to bearing stress not normal stress so load divided by bearing area so bearing area is this one this whole diameter into thickness clear this is the bearing area so diameter we have calculated and thickness is uh, this one which is six millimeter so put the value p is equal to 42 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by bearing area is diameter which we have calculated 2.59 into 10 raised to power minus 3 multiplied by thickness is 0 0.006 so when you calculate it you will get the bearing stress in link a b comes out to be 271 into 10 raised to power 6 pascal or you can say the bearing stress in link a b is 271 mega pascal so this is the answer of our second part and that was all about this problem 1.26 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching